been around, you guys know Megan. Megan's been on quite a few of my streams. We used to do pizza and porn together. And on top of that, uh, we've seen each other naked a lot because we've known each other since we were babies. Uh, we used to go scootering together. We were Razor Scooter buddies. Um, we lived just down the street from each other. And I was an asshole to her when we were a kid. And she still loved me anyway. And that's really what Megan is at her core. A very kind I'm a glutton for punishment. What can I say? Or, or a glutton for punishment. <laughs> <laughs> Megan, I had a game for you. And I don't know if this is going to work. Hold on, I have to come up with a good name. Canto Guess? No, that's terrible. Uh, <laughs> now, you know what? We're going with Canto Guess. Okay, so here's the deal, Meg. Canto Guess. The game is I am going to describe a Pokemon to you. And I'm going to see if, uh, here we go. I'm going to describe the Pokemon to you. And you're going to have to guess what the name is based entirely on my description. This is the original 150, right? Yes, only the 150. Like, no, no, no. Gen, like, I'm not going to get I, weird I, with it. I'm not going to get weird okay. with it. It's blue. Two eyes. White mittens. And a white mittens? Swirl for a tummy. Like, no. Polywhirl? Well, Damn, Megan! Blue. Blue. Big ears. Four legs. Whiskers. Kinda tiny. Kinda spiky. Got some spots. Got some teeth. Very much in love. Very much in love? Yeah. Nidoran? Yeah! Yeah! Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah! No, you got it! Nice. it that was very good. Okay, I'm blue. Da ba dee da ba I. I have two <laughs> legs. Uh, I have red eyes. You said I'm sure about the legs. <laughs> yeah, specifically, I'm doing that on purpose. I got a big round head. I'm blue with red eyes. I think I have a nose. I don't know what it is. I'm pretty spicy. I feel like if you touch me, you probably hurt. Two spicy legs and two red eyes and a nose. I didn't know this. The eyes are like hidden. So they're just red, weird fucking red head spots. Um, oh. Oh. Oh, fuck. What the hell is that thing called? Oh, a tentacle? Yeah, Meg! Tentacle, right? Yeah. Oh, it's getting worse every time. Dude. Wow. What? After a decade, decade, I realized Squirtle was a cross between a squirrel, the tail, and a tail. <gasps> Bucky! Was, oh. What? Oh, I was just, yeah, I was just thought because I did not know that. <laughs> no, I no, 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 hold on, hold on, no, 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 no. just no. learned that. No, 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 no. No. No? no? Why not? Because it's a turtle that squirts. All right, hold on, I found a Reddit post, and Reddit is the ultimate. Okay, here we go. Now they this just is, name them whatever they are. But this is the end of the argument because it's Reddit. I'm on Reddit. And the question is, is Squirtle really part squirrel? And the first answer is squirt turtle. End of argument. Second one, <laughs> it's a squirting turtle. Uh, 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 let me see. Your brother is repeating a lie made up by idiots. Somebody's so angry. <laughs> <laughs> this is an even deeper layer. The tale is just a coincidence. If I recall, it's referencing a Japanese mythological creature that a turtle, uh, that's a turtle that grows a long tail of seaweed after being a thousand years old. That's interesting. I don't know if that's true. No, it is because it's Reddit. Um, it is not part squirrel. Everything's true on Reddit. Yep. None of its names in any other language reference it being part squirrel. It's a common spread inter interpretation of its name. Man, they got fucking hard into this. Talking about etymology. Squirt turtle, it's not part squirrel, and your friend is an idiot. <laughs> I love how angry wow. people are. Wow. Let your friend believe it. it. Makes them happy. All right, here we go. Um, Let people enjoy things. <laughs> no, Megan. It's, they're fucking wrong. <laughs> You have to know that they're fucking stupid, you know? You have to tell them that they're fucking stupid. You have to say, listen, I don't know what happened to you to get you to this point in your life, but really, man, you're just an idiot. How I, I, it's baffling to me how you could ever 
possibly think that Squirtle is a combination of a squirrel and a turtle? <laughs> I, I just learned this today, and I already feel bad for believing yeah, that's it. Squirt is obvious. <laughs> that's the trick. You have to make someone feel really fucking bad. You have to make them feel mm. really bad for thinking something is the case. I'm, a, I'm <laughs> such a stupid idiot. Yeah, that's right, Roger. Feel <laughs> bad. What do you guys want to talk about? We can keep doing Pokemon. Megan, you want to tell stories about what a dick I was when I was a kid? Oh, my God. <laughs> that's yes. also oh. welcome as well. If Actually, you know what? I'll open up the chat. Uh... Chat, if you have any questions for Megan, who's known me since I was three years oh my God. old, yeah. uh, Megan knows everything about me inside and out. Hey, Meg, I'm so glad you're a guest on the show. Could you just talk about me for a while? Was that okay? <laughs> yes. Thank you for coming on. I just want your perspective on me. I have a question. Oh, yes, Steve. Ooh, please. When did the two of you know that you were best friends with each other? Ooh, that is a good question. I think we had been, we'd gone to elementary, or no, preschool together when we were like two or three. Three? Three, four? Yeah, yeah, know. yeah, two or three. And and uh, we didn't really know each other that well, and I remember my mom used to walk down the street, because we lived down the street from us, to borrow movies from your mom, like they were friends. I would like walk down there with my mom one day and you were playing something on your N64 and I was like, that looks like fun. And we decided to start playing together, whatever it was. And um, after that, we were friends. Yeah. I ended up finally getting an N64 as well. And you introduced me to like all the cool games that I liked. And, uh, and then I would scooter down. I don't remember the exact moment that we were like, oh, we're it was just kind of like a natural thing that happened i feel like no? yeah i mean well i mean we, we it, like hung out all the time it, it, it's tough to say because it was so long ago i didn't like megan yeah. when we were kids like like i said i was a brat i was an only child i hated sharing things megan had a little sister well not when we first started talking because maris came along a little bit later but um but like megan was good at sharing and i was not and uh and so i was kind of a dick to her and then um as we got older I, I learned how to actually talk to other people <laughs> I, I realized how cool meg was and i was like cool so w i remember us playing this really garbage truck game and i oh hell yeah <laughs> and it was i think a blockbuster rental funny. and i went this game's terrible and i'm having the best time ever and it was because i was playing with megan it was a fucking terrible game but we were laughing we our asses off. We screamed at the screen for hours. Yeah, we did. Wow, what's we weird kids, Meg? We so, legit had a little book. You guys remember Milky Pens? Yeah. Oh, yes, I do. Fucking Milky Pens, right? Those were cool in the, for, you know. They're the great. They're still um, pretty good. But uh, we would, uh, we had this, like, black notebook that we wrote in, in like, All like of our pastel Milky Pens. And we would keep track of all of our inside jokes <gasps> do you have that meg i don't know i, I think it's gonna be somewhere you i don't know? know i don't know i don't know if i have it we had like this demented skunk my mom sold clothes for a living for a while and my and uh we were helping her sort some of the new shipment that she got and one of the outfits like you put it on just like you looked like a skunk like the stripes on it were skunk colors and so chloe put it on and she started like going around going like I was demented skunk, and that was the birth of. Uh, yeah, was we had, demented skunk. These are you guys are hearing some deep cut inside jokes. <laughs> yeah, deep cut. Um, and then we would just moo at things. Yeah, a lot of mooing. A lot of mooing. So I mean, these are not because yeah, we were super, super edge lord. You know, yeah, we were edge. We, we, we were, we so were cool edgy. And and... Anime shit. Oh yeah. Here, uh, embarrassing middle middle school Chloe story. I remember one time. We went, there was a save on, it's now a CVS, I think, because save on doesn't exist anymore. But we, we went, we walked down the street to save on and went inside and you decided to lock yourself in a freezer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> so that was, a, that was a, you got locked in the freezer. It was funny. I did? Huh? <laughs> hey, Megan's so random. <laughs> Lol. Oh, I have a good embarrassing story that Megan was present for. Do you remember what we used to do in the elevator at the mall, Meg? Oh my fucking god, yes. Oh man, we found this list online of, <sighs> of great things to do in an elevator. It was and very. It was like so a. It was like an email forward. Do you remember? It was like a fucking email forward. Like yeah, back when that existed. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, and and you were like, we have to go to the mall and try this. And I was like, okay. So we go, and uh, and we get in the in and and Chloe has kind of shared with me what we're doing, whatever. But but I I you know I wasn't quite sure how it was gonna play out. Uh, we get into the elevator, and I just remember like a bunch of people crowd in with us. It was a busy day at the mall. And Chloe said so the door's closed. Everyone's standing around. It's an elevator. Everyone's quiet, minding their own business. And Chloe opens up her purse and looks inside and goes, they got enough air in there? <laughs> <laughs> so we get to the next level and, you know, everyone files out except oh. for us. We decide to stay inside because we're doing a thing. So more people come in. And as people are walking in, Chloe walks up and, and <laughs> shakes everyone's hand and goes, call me Admiral. Yeah! <laughs> wow wow my favorite one if i girl, remember like, one of the girls was so sweet and she was like not quite sure what to say she's like oh oh, oh okay <laughs> there was one that i quite liked which was uh you get in the elevator and then the door closes and you don't hit a button and you just face the corner of it and you don't yeah move. you're so just like stood people, in the corner angrily like looking at the corner the problem was with this particular elevator is that it was a window <laughs> yeah oh <laughs> no so it wasn't it wasn't <laughs> even quite have the same effect as like walking into an elevator and somebody's just like standing in the corner like the like the ring because um, you're literally staring outside at other people who are walking by in the mall <laughs> so it looked like you're just angry at them we were trolls before troll was a word yeah like this is genuinely this list i think we must have been 11 or 12. oh yeah we analog I think... trolls yeah, yeah analog trolls cool. oh megan that's mm -hmm. such a good name for us the analog trolls <laughs> the analog trolls. that was a that's an ethan special does anybody have any other questions for megan any uh suggestions I... oh yes. i have another one yeah yeah yes. Yeah. What is the dumbest argument you two have been in? Oh, man. like the one that you were like so mad at each other, but you think about it afterwards, it was like it, it was it, the dumbest thing. Is it Jake? Survey says. Oh my God, Jake. <laughs> yeah, probably. probably that. <laughs> so Jake was a guy. I'm just. Is that okay, Meg, to talk about? Oh that? yeah, talk, talk about. Jake it. was a guy that Megan had a huge crush on, and then she introduced him to me, and then I had a huge crush on him. And he really liked Chloe. But like, uh oh. I but so then we talked a little bit, and then I it fell apart. But I remember I felt really bad, and Megan was mad at me for for a good reason. But so that was like a, one like uh oh, this is a big kind of maybe big thing. But it was it ended up being okay. It turned out fine. Because Jake sucked. Fuck him. Anyway, uh, yeah. No, he was he fine. Cool. He was he was a kid. Here's my favorite bad story, dumb, dumb, dumb argument. So Meg has a little sister named Maris, and yeah. I still see her as like a five-year-old in my eyes, even though she's- Which she's going. not. She's like she's 20, like 25. 25 now. <laughs> she's my baby. Um, she was my minion, and we had like, I literally called her my minion, and I would send her off to go do dumb shit. I was like, go punch Meg in the arm. So she had a, she got a Furby. <laughs> Furby suck, right? And I thought it would be funny, because Furbies talk a lot. I did a bit. I guess I don't know how bits work when I was a kid. Because I took the Furby and I threw it at the wall. <laughs> and That's the bit. Furby <laughs> went from, wow, loud sound to, meh. And it would not stop making this horrible noise. Like, it was like, ooh, loud sound. And Chloe's like, bam. And it goes, mm. Poor Marys just goes, <laughs> yeah. to cry. I got to so mad at Chloe. Oh yeah, no, no. What made my sister cry? I felt so bad. We put it in the closet. It didn't stop it. We had to figure out how to take the batteries out. It was just like this horrible, depressing, like murder scene where somebody's just like slowly dying, and we don't know how to hide the body. And it's just like it was just so bad. And your mom got mad at me, and I felt really bad because I thought it was just going to be a funny joke, and it turned into something very not funny. And then I, I, I did get your sister another Furby. You did, and it was like a king Furby. It was. You remember it had like a crown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the best, the best part about that shit, the best part about that, 
was that you put it in the hall closet, right? We were like, oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember. We're going to put it in the back of the hall closet. We're not going to, you know, it can just do its thing back there. We're not, we're just out of sight, out of mind. It's fine. The hall closet was right next to my bedroom. So in the middle of the night. (laughs) Oh, no. No, we, oh, we took the batteries out and it still did it, right? I'm like, I'm never sleeping again. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Megan, I feel like you're kind of like a magnet for that kind of shit. Like Why? goofy, oh. like goofy, um, uh, do, 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 that kind of like antics. I feel like you are just like asking, like asking for is the worst phrase to say, but I feel like you just like your existence. Cause you're such a kind soul. Like dumb shit has to happen to you. Like, like the time that my ceiling fell in. Yes. Like exactly like that time. I what? remember what? that. Yeah. 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 Freeway. What's that? I've almost died in a lot of really weird ways. I got final destinations on the freeway. Remember that? No. What happened there? I can't remember. Oh, my freaking my car. Um, I I was driving home and um, from college. I was bringing my my stuff home for my first year in college, and I was uh, you know, just driving along, and this van in front of me kicked up this black thing in the road. And it hit the front of my car and it made a loud noise. And I was like, oh, shit. Oh, like, yeah, I do remember this. It's going to, I was like, it's going to leave a mark, right? So I drive the rest of the way home, park in front of my house. I get out of the car, come around the front. That is a two and a half foot long piece of steel sticking out of the front of my bumper. Oh. Stra- yeah. Like straight, like straight out. And it was right in line with my face. If it had bought, like popped up like a foot and a half higher, it would have gone right through my face. That's cool. Yeah, cool story, right? Uh, so the, the ceiling falling in. So that's that's <laughs> that was a good story too. Um, I uh, was asleep. It was I think five in the morning, uh, and I was in high school, eleventh grade, I think, and. Uh, I I awoke to a to like a, a knocking or cracking noise, and I thought immediately someone is trying to break into my window. I was like, I'm gonna be raped. I'm gonna be murdered. Like something horrible is gonna happen. And so I sit up in bed and get up against the wall, and I'm like looking at the window, right? And then I hear more noises, and I look up, and there's this crack moving its way slowly across the ceiling. <laughs> And I, I'm just sitting there, like, just mesmerized, because this is the weirdest thing to ever wake up to, ever. Like, I was like, I don't know if I was still sleeping or not. Suddenly, half of my ceiling is on the floor. And, uh, the, the thing, I guess the ceiling had been leaking really badly, or the, the roof had been leaking really badly, so the, the, the chunks of plaster were, like, very heavily laden with water. And so they broke my, my dresser, and then there was a giant piece like, I looked down, and there was a giant piece of plaster just laying, like, you know, up against my bed. And the entire room was just filled with, like, insulation that came in from the ceiling. And I just hear my mom, like, trying to make her way into the, to the to, like, just trying to open the door because she heard what happened and she came running down the hallway. She's, like, trying to open the door, and I'm like, uh, don't... Don't come in here. The ceiling just fall it fell in. It's the ceiling. It it fell, and uh, it was like the most I, you bizarre day me. of my life. Yeah, you called what? me. You called me like right after it happened. You're like, hey, <laughs> my ceiling fell, yeah. and I was like, oh my god. There's one question that's pretty good. If we had actresses playing, um, when they make a movie about the two of us, which actresses would play us? Oh my god. You pick mine, and then I'll pick yours. Emma Stone. Fucking god damn it. No, I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. Um, Actually, I feel like Emma Stone would be good for you. Maybe. Yeah, I think Emma Stone would be a good you. Try to think personality-wise who would be a good one for you. Patrick nailed it. Uh, The mom on the Game of Thrones kind of reminds me of Chloe. Yeah, that would be... Wait, fucking Cersei again? God damn it. All right, fuck it. We're gonna... We're gonna you got it. that twice. I feel like it's already decided. Lena, Lena Headey has been... Yeah, everybody says that I look like Lena Headey, and I'll take it. Oh, hello, all you cunts. Okay. Uh, all right. So, Meg, where can people find you on the internet? 
Uh, and if, is there anything that you want to say, like, or plug or, you know, uh, bequeath upon well, or whatever? I don't know. Whatever works. I mean, I'm not really in the entertainment industry, um, but I do like cars and I'm currently in the process of um, restoring a uh, 1966 GTO and um, I have other car things that I like and stuff too and I have a cute dog so if you want to follow me yes the dog is very me. cute too I don't know about cars but Tifa's like a precious little pot cake and I love her oh, to death oh she's so cute yeah great she little bunny ears sweet she looks like a sweet little dog she looks like a pit bull but but kind of but smaller she's like a Stafford Terrier. anyway she's really cute she's really um, cute but yeah. You can follow me at Meg Panda on Instagram if you want to keep up with me. I don't post all the time, but I, 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 I'm starting to more again because of car stuff. And uh, and then my dog, uh, you can find her through my Instagram or her, but it's uh, Tifa.Bunny.Terrier. She's real cute, too. She's very, very cute. <laughs> really quick, I want to just say Megan has been, like, such a fucking amazing person in my life, and I'm so oh. grateful to have her. When I was a kid, I didn't get on with my parents very well. You guys may have heard me talk about it. I remember one time I actually ran away from – well, I didn't run away from them. I got kicked out of uh, a car, and, and, and I didn't have anywhere to go. So I went to Megan's house with – on the way, <laughs> I, picked up, I picked up a broken pigeon um, under an overpass. I found a, pig, a broken pigeon, and I took off my sweatshirt, and I wrapped a pigeon in this sweatshirt – and I walked all the way to Megan's house, which was about, what, three or four miles from my house? It was. It was far. I was 11, <laughs> I think. Um, and I had my backpack. And, like, some guy tried to pick me up in a car. And I had a pigeon. And I didn't know what to do. And I made it to Megan's house. And I had Megan there. And I was so happy to have another family there for when my family didn't quite work that, that particular day. Um, and Megan's been my family. And I hope that she will be my family forever as much oh, hell yeah i love her very very much and i'm so glad she was on the show megan you're fucking great and i would love to have you come back uh, in any capacity um you can come always are welcome to come hang out in discord where we play or if we do another taco tuesday um you're the I, best i would love to thank you meg I love thank you. you for having me yay i love you so much too.